Night Light Sports Extra is brought to you by Isabella Bank. Hey everyone and welcome to Friday Night Lights. It's the final regular season week for high school football. And we have double digit games for you once again. Plus we'll be presenting our WNEM Play of the Night. In addition to that, we'll look ahead to Selection Sunday. I love it. Playoff implications on the line. So let's get after it. Friday Night Lights Game of the Week is brought to you by Priority Waste. It's a rematch of the Division 5 state championship last season. Gladwin hosting Brankenmuth. The Eagles strike first. They hand it to Zach Andrews. He gets it to the end zone. It's 7-0. Frankenmuth's defense played excellent tonight. The Eagles force rushes that. It's picked off by Nicholas Hausman. Frankenmuth takes over, but the Flying G's defense responds soon after. The Eagles look to pitch it, but it's a fumble. Braden Ritchie pounces on it and that calls for the worm of course Gladwin trying to keep the momentum going Colton Fenninger gonna find Donald Curlew the third but Frankenmuth would eventually get the ball back and cash it in Jack Rich was all over the place tonight as the Eagles soar in this one taking down Gladwin 38-0 now let's zone in on a huge matchup in the Saginaw Valley League South. Undefeated Davidson facing Lapeer. And the last time the Cardinals entered the playoffs 9-0 was back in 2016. First quarter, Lapeer up 7-0. Micah Kemp is going to return the kickoff for Davidson, gets some blockers, and speeds down the sideline, cutting back in. He is out of here with a 90-yard kickoff return touchdown to tie the game 7-7. The Lightning now looking to respond. Michael Brewer takes the handoff up the middle, just makes it look easy going all the way for the touchdown for Lapeer to go back up 14 to 7. Brewer would score another touchdown later in the game to make it 21-7. Davison coming back with a response. A.J. Hill flying by the defense. He's going to score to make it 21-14. And in a high-scoring battle, Davison would come back to win 56-55 to finish 9-0 on the season. Now to a non-conference battle between Lake Fenton and New Lothrop. Late in the first half, the Hornets are looking to score, but great coverage by the Blue Devils allows Landon Grigg to get in the backfield for the sack. Third quarter, Kaven Unix runs the sweep, gets some great blocks in front of him. He has one man to beat, and he decides to go through him and reach out for the end zone. The ball is fumbled, but it is called a 30-yard touchdown to add on to the Hornets' lead. Lake Fan looked to answer back, but Unix jumps the route and gets the interception. It may look like it's going for a touchdown, but a block in the back would bring it back. New Hope gets the shutout, 38 to nothing. Well, now let's transition to a crosstown rivalry. Dow meeting up with Midland High. These two teams have split this series the last four years. What's in store for 2023? Let's find out. The Chemex down 22 to 2. In the second half, Isaiah Henderson slings it out to Liam Hines. Makes a fantastic catch, but the Chargers defense relentless. Midland High looking for some yards, and Mason Nichols says, mm mm. Big time stop. Dow's offense was solid as well. Jacob Jensen going to call his own number. Going to get to the outside and pick up a solid gain as the Chargers take down their rival Midland High tonight, 29 to 9. Staying with the Crosstown rivalry theme, Bay City Western traveling to take on Bay City Central. Second half, 21-12 Western. Aiden Robinson takes the handoff and takes it in for some insurance. It's 28-12 Warriors, and the student section is pumped up. Central trying to cut in, but Jamario Harris loses the ball. There's a pile up for the ball. Western pointing like he got, like they got it. Jack Goy comes up with the ball, and the Warriors are going to take over. Western capitalizing off of that turnover. Jackson Clark runs his way into the end zone for the touchdown as. Bay City Western gets the win in the Crosstown rivalry, 49 to 12. I'll be looking to go undefeated for the third straight regular season. The Barragats taking on Montrose. And listen to this, the last time I'll be lost in the regular season was October 2nd, 2020. First drive of the game, Seth Maurer takes the handoff, gets shoved from behind. He's still going and is tripped up before getting the first down. Later, Maurer is showing the Rams its power hour as he breaks a tackle here and into the end zone for a 10-yard score. The Bearcats score first. Then coming up on the next drive for Montrose, Zach O'Neill steps back and chucks it to the back of the end zone where MJ Daly makes the great catch and gets the foot down for the score. Rams would take an 8-7 lead, but Ubley wins it 41-15. 
Fenton at home to finish their regular season. The Tigers hosting undefeated Mason. The Bulldogs showed why they entered this game 8-0. Kaysen Carswell connects with Derek Badgley for the touchdown. It's 35-7 at that point. They weren't done. Again, it's Carswell. This time finding Caleb Paris for the score as the Bulldogs defeat the Tigers tonight 49-20.